What's up, guys? I wish all these people that watch could help. So we'd have three helpers? Good boy. So what we're doing today is starting to try to put a, a cattle scale. This is something we bought about five, six, seven, eight, maybe nine years ago. I don't know. It's been forever. It's been in my shop. We're wanting a way to weigh our calves. A way to weigh? Yep. W-A-Y-W-E-I-G-H. There you go. So the system that we bought at that time, we didn't have this squeeze chute. You can buy some now. Imagine that, that you can set the squeeze chute on and as they're in the chute, you can weigh them. The set of scales that we have are going to be on a platform. I'll show you those shortly. So the, the platforms are over seven feet long. We got to figure out where to put it because our lane is not straight. As you see, our lane curves and so we're going to have to try to figure out, manipulate a place to put this scale to make it an easy transition. We could put it behind this chute, but if we do, it's going to keep this front gate from opening. A lot of times, when we turn calves out to stay safe the calf, we'll be back here. Well, obviously, if we move this up seven feet, this gate will hit that, and then we can only open that way, which if all else fails, we can do that, but we're going to try to find a simpler solution before. And another thing you have to consider is we're going to be bringing multiple calves up this lane. So you've got to be able to lock them on that platform. Since we have a turn, ideally this would be straight here. It would be wonderful. You could just stop a calf here. But we have half the distance we need right there for that platform. So roughly six, so it only needs about a foot back in there. So what we're thinking about doing is taking that bottom board off and we'll rig it some way, possibly take that board off, dig out, and maybe rig it in there to where when we bring a calf up, we put some boards behind it and lock that calf up here to where he has to be on the scale. This is the way that the calves will be coming in, so they make this little turn. We've got this little door opened up, so I reckon we'll tear this board out, get a shovel and clean it up a little bit. Everything's pretty simple. This is one of our load cells here. So you plug it into your screen. Ours is pretty much the basic screen. It doesn't, because there's some of them that have a lot of data that can show. But this one just shows the basic. It's just going to show the weight. There's our other load cell. And that's pretty much it. Very simple. We did a little bit of studying on it, and we don't really like the spots behind the squeeze chute where we were talking about putting it, and then we're not real crazy about moving the squeeze chute forward because it just kind of sticks out in the middle of this little area where we work them, and a lot of times we bring calves back around, or cows, because we can load back down through here. So we got to look in at just putting this thing down here in the actual squeeze chute, so not underneath it. We have this sternum bar. It doesn't serve a whole lot of purpose. We don't use it a whole lot. We don't have any cows lay down on us. I say that if we take this thing out, it'll probably turn into a problem. But we're thinking that if we take this out, we can put our load cells and our platform in here. I think the inside of the squeeze chute's about nine or 10 feet long. And what'd you say, 29 inches wide? Yeah. The squeeze chute, I don't know if it's, I think it's open all the way. Uh, but we'll be able to squeeze the squeeze chute down. That way it minimizes the area that the cattle can step just to the platform. The good thing that'll, if that does work, we have two of these chutes and with that ramp like that being portable, it'll be easy to move back and forth if that works. Most of the time life doesn't go like that for us, but 
Hopefully it will. I mean, it makes sense. With the parts, it's pretty much the two load cells you saw, the platform, and then the screen it plugs into. So even if you want to take it back out, it should be pretty simple. Pretty simple. That's our plan. That's our current plan, I should say. You know how our plans usually work. They usually don't. They're about like you. Yeah. They don't work. Wait a minute. Get it on get there. I think put it on there, mount them, and then you can move it. Let's see if I can catch you in that head gate. You're not quick enough. We've seen you on film. What we're thinking to do is to bring this scale all the way to the front, close the head gate, use that as the front barrier, and then our normal butt bar that we use here. Put the butt bar in the back and see if we can wheel. Well, if we had a charged battery, we'd try one, but yeah. Ben didn't charge a battery, so. Let's see how much you weigh. I guess we'll try it next time. We got everything set up. We think it's gonna work in the squeeze chute. We just don't have our actual scale charged up. So, we're gonna charge it up, hook this thing up tomorrow. We'll try it out. We'll throw Eric on there. Show you guys what 200 pounds looks like. 210. Planned it. You think it'll work? Give him thumbs up. We're back at it today. We got our scale monitor all charged up. It came on. We're we'll gonna finish it up. Got a group of steers. So if all goes well, we're gonna weigh some steers here shortly. Ooh. Spider web? Right in the face. That's what that's being dedicated right there. Just go. I saw it, but it was too late. It just It's like a hair net. He's drama. Did you see that? You had one little bitty tiny spider web. It just it's like Spider Man hit me with it. My prediction, just I'm just gonna let's throw some quick predictions out there. What do you think? My prediction could completely be wrong. Is I think it's gonna get I think it's gonna slide forward and like get to where the as we keep running animals in here, and it may not because the the head gate. You know, then all we're gonna do is turn out. How would it slide forward? I think what's gonna happen is when we open the gate, I think you're naturally gonna think they're gonna kick it back, but I believe it's gonna get brought forward as they're going out. No. What do you think? I don't think it's gonna move even a little bit. I hope it doesn't. I hope you're exactly right. I don't know about the sizing of all the air equipped squeeze chutes or all the different numbers or whatever, but this is the one that we're using. 86 series so the platform fits inside it all right let's turn it on for the first time and we have power so skinny man it's up to you see what you got step up there hey before you get up there boots and, and pants and all that good stuff what do you think you're going to weigh 173 And you said what? 173. Jeez. 176 or? Hey, you look. I did just eat a. Hold on, keep looking like that. You look like a Mr. Was it Mr. Wilson on Tool Time? Oh, yeah, where you see the, like, just his eyes. Yeah, you're that guy right now. 
All right, so our weight's fluctuating just a bit because I don't think he's 185. Just, why don't you just get on all fours and see if it changes? I saw you just hit your head. Well, it's fine. There you go. What we got? I'm about to get that mander. Ooh. Uh, 178. You're on knees too, but I said fours, not sixes. What you want? Uh, 178. That'll work. I mean, you think that's potentially close? I mean, we're not trying to get down to the ounces on these animals. We're just trying to get around about. Y'all see what I'm dealing with? That's because he ate a salad for lunch. Wear me out. All right, we're going to try to. Do a little we're gonna do a little trial run on one here that's here you come y'all calm as a dog for right now shoot him rookie oh, man. step up to the plate what big man what do i think he weighs let me look at him that's a good thing let's see what you got cowboy i'm gonna say that that steer there weighs six 60. I was gonna go 675. No, you weren't. True story. 660 and 675. I'm actually going a little conservative because I want him to weigh a little more. Price is right, rolls. Price is right. Okay. 660. You didn't leave me much leeway. 15 pounds. Well, I gotta nail this one. You think you'll go today, or how do you think that'll be? I'm behind him. Do a look. All right, nobody look at the scale yet. Nobody look at the scale. What do I win if I win? Um, the loser buys lunch. Buys lunch. Buys the next salad. Throw that bar, big man. Throw the bar. Throw the bar. Is he all on the platform? He doesn't have anywhere else to be. Looking. One, two, three. Woo! Oh. Lord to the Jesus. Daddy missed that one. Your dad's not here, but uh, I'm a dad. So I won. Gosh. We Price should, is right rules. We should both lose. No. Price is right rules. Maybe this is going to go. Oh, uh, that is 127M. He's a stud. He's a stud. It came from me, Mom. It's 17. Oh, wow. Gosh, I'm going to have to freshen up. 790 and I guess 660. Don't put me in a cell barn. Dang boy, you been eating good? He hit 802 on that. I'm gonna put him down as where you gonna put him down put as? Put him down as eight weight. The 802. Wowzers, he's a stud. Let's do a little spray on him and then. Tell him good job. 788. Are his eyes good? I think so. I think Is this he's set for. I think it's set way too light now. 660. No wonder we've never been getting results. I've always been going light. But are we being conservative with it? Nah. Or if he's going to get us warmer, we can just slow play it. He said, oh, thank you. All right, turn out to the burnout. Let's see if the scale moves. So far, hold on, let's, let's get them. Oh, you got the gate open? All right. I, can I get an apology? No. Turn them out, hurry. Come on. See what I deal with. Golly, the daggum scale came out the front. What are we gonna do? Boy, if we had bleeps on here, I'd throw a few at you. Do you think you were born that much of a smart aleck? No, it was... Uh, Why was it acquired? With two brothers? Yeah. All right, shut it and let's see if everything... Gosh, I kind of wish that thing wasn't to shut. Get to work? I wish that thing would shut. Oh, are you pointing at me? Yeah. We're going to catch the second half of this group. No, thank you, Direct TV. What are your 
thoughts on the weights so far? Um, they're a lot higher than I thought they were, they were going to be. It's a good problem. Yeah. It, is it not surprising you? I mean, I kind of thought those animals that are weighing 790, 790, I thought they were upper sixes. I didn't yeah. Think, I didn't think they were close to 800 pounds. That comes from inexperience with, I've worked calves my whole life, but never really weighed many. Seems to be a more consistent group here, doesn't it? This group to me looks like a... A little bit thinner. Yeah, kind of, to me looks like the upper ends and the upper sixes, I mean, with the exception of one or two. Probably, hence, all the other ones were in the barn eating these worms. This is the scared group. Yeah. Does it come in the barn? Call that cow poop soup. The little bitty ones, the ones that I thought were tearing up. I can't believe We're headed back to the farm, going to check on some birds. What'd you think of the scale? The only thing that I regret about the scales is it took so long to put them in. It worked easy, uh, flawless in the arrow clip squeeze chute. The only negative thing I can say about putting in the squeeze chute, that board's slick. So if you're if you're actually wanting to work the calves, we, had, we drew blood off heifers and they're slipping and sliding a little bit. So if you ran a lot of head through there, that'd be aggravating. But that first group of 40 steers, very little trouble when all we were doing is weighing them and pouring them. I wouldn't change a thing with that. I mean, it was easy, then we can transport. We got two of those air equipped chutes, so we can do the same thing at the house. Um, a plus, scale works good. True test, you can tell it's one of those things I like. The quality is top notch. Um, they did a good job. They did the research. It's got like a an auto zero function, so you don't have to worry about it being zeroed out every time. And uh, very pleased with the scale. So, would you say that whoever came up with the idea to put it in the squeeze chute did a good job? It was Ben's idea. I I probably would still be back there digging in the dirt, putting them in the back, and it just. Uh, Great idea, flawless. Pat him on the back. Good job. Give him a cookie. Worked great. Y'all heard it here. First time ever I've gotten credit for something. Well, I kind of mentioned it first, I think. There we go. There it is. I kind of led you into it. You oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. You can't make a horse drink even if you lead him to water right. You know, and I was there and kind of, and you just, you took the bait. Okay. It's like bass fishing. Before we go, why don't you hit us with a Bible verse? We've been slacking here lately. Shout out to my nephew, Andrew. This actually came from him. We were talking about Bible verses and all that stuff. And he said, I've got one for you. And I looked it up and loved it. Matthew 5, 44. Y'all look that up. You're welcome. See y'all next time.